Hey, 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 beautiful people. Hola, mi gente. What's up? Que bola. A bitch is back. Uh, we're going to be doing a car of the day for June 4th, 2024. Let's get some of the legalities out of the way. The Almighty Pineapple LLC is trademark copyrighted and registered with three different classifications with the United States Trademark and Patents Office. Any duplication of my content without my permission is subject to legal recourse as guided by my legal team. With that being said, this is not a reading. A reading is an intimate discussion between you and a spiritual advisor of your choice, hopefully led by your intuition. As I always say, your intuition is your superpower. Everyone was born with intuition. Not everyone listens to it. As you can see, the state of the world. Um, a couple things. This Thursday is the new moon in Gemini community ritual. Um, so that's what's going on. Where I'm going to be starting it at 10 p.m. The cutoff is 9 p.m. And the areas of intention that I'm going to be focusing on. I'm looking. I'm pulling up everything on my computer. Goal setting, learning, and networking, curiosity, communication, negotiations, and fertility. And you could actually become fertile or like actually bringing another human being into the world or giving birth to new ideas, new concepts, a business, a new home, a new vehicle, a new uh, a new educational path, a new relationship, etc. Again, it doesn't necessarily mean you actually give birth to another human being. It can, but I just want to clear that up. Goal setting is huge because, again, this is about putting your perspective and your niche into the future. Learning, obviously, we're always needing to evolve. Networking is getting to like know people of like mind, um, like spirit in the right, you know, in the right spaces, whether that's, you know, um, making money or if that's, uh, you know, for the arts, whatever that is. And curiosity, always be open to new things. Communication, communication is key. We really don't focus on how we need to be communicating, or at least from what I've seen, we don't communicate effectively. Negotiations, meaning, again, setting setting those contracts up, it, or it can also be negotiation between you and another party in regards to a personal relationship or dynamic. So there's that. Uh, and that the community ritual is a four to eight hour uh ritual that i do i've been doing over for over 20 years and in february 2020 i was guided to share um uh, these community rituals new moon and full moon community rituals but again you know everybody does these you know either or you know in their own way but i've been doing this for a long time with my children um and then i just started to share and the exchange is 15 dollars 51 per community ritual it's every two weeks a new moon and a full moon i do have a subscription option for 25 dollars a month you can join the subscription op option um and you get charged 25 dollars a month versus 32 dollars per month you know if you buy them individually for members of I Am The Altar, my private membership, this is automatically included in your membership as a perk. So you don't have to register at all for that. Um, and if you do opt to have the community ritual subscription, and you, once you sign up, I will automatically send you those emails. It does get, vid uh, the video do does go up on a private YouTube link and it will be emailed to you within 24 hours after the new moon or the full moon community ritual i do not show you the entire process because not everything is for public consumption not even those who exchange energy with me the only the only information you're going to see is part of the candle portion you'll get a video explaining the astrological breakdown for the next two weeks the new moon the planets involved any fixed stars if applicable and any constellations that come up um and what that means and then a reading so there's that. And you get that all for $15.51. I do all the heavy lifting for you. You do not have to do anything in advance because I do everything for you. Or you can add your own twist to it. But I suggest if you're going to do some things for yourself, I would just write either some intentions, write things down um, with what you want to release for a full moon and what you want to receive for a new moon, etc. If you want more information, please go to the website and read that or sign up or sign up to my newsletter. I send up maybe like three to five emails a month. I really try not to spam just as reminders of these events. So that's coming up this Thursday. Um, and then on the 15th, June 15th, which is Saturday at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, we're going to be having the next community reading. It's a great place to check me out before investing in a one-to-one -one session or joining any of my programs such as Love Thyself, which is my three-month intensive program, Love and Know Thyself, which is my six-month intensive program, or... Uh, any executive coaching, which is Soulful Mastery Entrepreneur Program, which is currently closed. And I'm not reopening that and for applications until October or November. So 
there is that um so or it's also a great place to check me out before you do that it's 30 dollars to join you get to ask one question in a zoom platform it's with people of like mind and like spirit um it will not be recorded for privacy reasons and what usually happens if i'm answering one person's question that answer also applies to another area of your life so you get more than one question answered or if you're not comfortable being on a zoom platform i do have one card questions where you submit a question and i will send you a video i also do candle readings where i read candles the glass the wax the flame um the smoke on my altar or personal candle readings where you light a candle and i read it for you or you can do your own egg cleansings and if you don't know how to interpret the egg cleansing i can read that as well um there are also a bay leaf spell where I not only place an intention for the energy to change in a specific area as a spell, or but usually happens I always channel, so you always get some type of insight as well. So again, some of these things are only $15. Some of them can go all the way up to $250 for a one-hour session. So there's that. I not only do readings, I do mentoring sessions. I do dream intuitive analysis. I do past life regressions. I do hypnosis. There's a whole bunch of things that I do. So check me out if you feel led to do so. I would love to work with you. But as always, please follow your intuition working with any spiritual advisor. Even if that means you do not work with me. The card of the day is coming from Wisdom, Wisdom of the Elders Oracle Deck. So thank you for tuning in so far. Thank you for liking, commenting, subscribing to my channel. If you're seeing this on YouTube at the Almighty Pineapple LLC. Or thank you for liking, following, and sharing on TikTok at Readings by Vida. Instagram at Readings by Vida. And also Instagram, the Almighty Pineapple LLC. And Twitter, Readings by Vida. What do we need for the card of the day? What do we need for the card of the day? What do we need for the card of the day? The card of the day. There's, okay, there's three. We're not doing three cards of the day. Come on. One card. One or two cards at the most. For the card of the day. Thank you very much. I have to be specific. Thank you. Two spirit. I think that's appropriate for Pride Month. Two spirit, which means balance. I love this. I love this. I love this. Two spirit. I love this. All right. So balance. Traditionally, many indigenous cultures recognize and help people who encompass both masculine and feminine traits in high regard. They were honored within the community and often considered sacred and divine and two spirit people have existed since the beginning of time. And the reclaimed umbrella term was chosen to help bridge understandings of gender and sexuality within indigenous and Western identities. This has been the way for indigenous people to educate others and embrace traditional teachings. Unify, unify, excuse me, unify. Why can't, I say, why can't I say that word? Unifying diverse spiritual um, expressions throughout varied, varied indigenous languages. It is important to note, and I'm going to say this, we appreciate, we do not appropriate. We appreciate, we do not appropriate. It is important to note that two-spirit is culturally specific for in indigenous people and should not be used by non-indigenous indigenous individuals to identify themselves. However, these teachings embody elements of sacred traditions and bring forth an understanding that we should honor two-spirit individuals, celebrate unique perspectives, and similarly honor the masculine and feminine energy that exists within all of us. There is a call to find balance within ourselves, to cherish the masculine and feminine aspects of the creator, and to respect and integrate both of the intellectual and emotional aspects of our being. If we receive the two-spirit card today, it is an opportunity to celebrate yourself or someone you love who identifies as a member of the LGBTQ Two plus community, perhaps you need to fully accept aspects of your own feminine and masculine and um, aspects or your intellectual emotional state of being, finding balance in the middle, love all that you are and embrace all the expressive, beautiful, unique and colorful people who reside here on Mother Earth of all gender identities and sexual preferences. It is only through unconditional love of self and others that we can create a more loving and peaceful world. I love that. And if you do not resonate with the sexuality or the gender identity, what about seeking balance within yourself, learning to identify both your masculine and feminine and energies and learn how to integrate the both or your human you your humanity and your divinity and learn how to integrate it both or your positivity and negativity and how to integrate them both or again honor the masculine and feminine energies within you we all carry masculine and feminine hormones in our physical human body we also carry masculine and feminine energies within our aura or our ethereal body regardless of how you identify regardless of how you were born we carry both energies uh feminine energy is nurturing and receptive believe it or not and masculine energy is protective and giving so are you able to balance both or are you more on one side than the other regards any polarity that you carry if so learn how to balance that by praying and meditating connecting with your creator connecting with the universe connecting whatever you walk with and learn and ask ask for help from your divine team don't ask me ask your divine team we all have them and if you have problems how to how to connect with them comment below and I will guide you and help you out to the best of my ability. If not, schedule a session. I would love to work with you. But as always, please follow your intuition. Work with any spiritual advisor. Even if that means you do not work with me. I love you. I love you. I love you. 
I love you. I love you. I love you. Thank you for being here. Have a great day.